seen that before, have you? No, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah, made in Maryland. You know, and batteries power our world. From satellites to our cars, we rely on them every day. Well, some high-tech machines require more juice than your typical double A's. And ABC 2 News' Cassie Carlisle visited Saf's in Cockeysville Lab and shows us how super-powered batteries are made right here in Maryland. <laughs> Believe it or not, these high-powered machines run on lithium-ion batteries made right here in Maryland. Scientists at Saft and Cockeysville take every precaution to make these specialized pieces of tech, even for our quick visit. Safety glasses on, clean suits and hair caps cover us head to toe, protecting the sensitive process, which starts with bags of lithium-ion and carbon mixed together, they say, like cake batter. It's piped through to the little applicator tips there that go back and forth, and they will layer the ink onto the foil like a printer, kind of like that. And then the cake batter goes into an oven. Positively and negatively charged materials called electrodes come out. The wine gets put on here, it goes in here. The next machine rolls the electrodes, ensuring perfect thickness. If you are making a highly specialized product like we do for space and defense and Formula One applications where they have really high performance needs, you need to, to have the manufacturing be extra sensitive, extra special, extra controlled. That means lots of technicians and tests at every stage. Next. Electrodes cut to exact sizes. So those are electrodes that are going to go into cells that will be made for Ferrari for the Formula One racing that we supply all the batteries for. So we they also start up the engine. They, it's not, it's uh, some of the starting activities, but it's all the power during the race. There we go. Walking through the facility, we saw rolls of electrodes that will eventually power satellites, F-35 jets, and emergency car devices all waiting to go to the most fascinating machine in the building. Through a series of all these mandrels and machines, they are going to bring the electrodes together with the separator in the middle, and then they're going to make a wind. A wind looks a lot like a jelly roll cake. The positive material, the cake, the separator as the whipped cream, and the negative material as the jelly, all rolled together, then welded on top and bottom and placed into a metal case. So here we have a finished cell. But even now, they're not done. The cells line up, they pull a vacuum, and then they shoot the electrolyte in there. The tight winds take several minutes to absorb the liquid. And finally, a charge to jump start the battery. Every battery in the world has to get some initial charge. It doesn't look that proprietary because they're just sitting there being connected. But how we do it, at what temperature we do it, for how long we do it, how strong, and the, the intervals that we do it at are very specific to our uh, technology and to our performance. Each battery has a specific purpose. Some, like those on satellites, last for years in extreme temperatures. Others put out a huge amount of power, a driving force behind Formula One race cars and fighter jets. These batteries are for the F-35, the Joint Strike Fighter, and these specific ones are for the emergency operations. Should the aircraft ever lose power, uh, they can still operate the aircraft. Small pieces of tech powering awesome machines around the world, made right here in Cockeysville. Reporting from Cockeysville, Cassie Carlisle, ABC2.